Punisher, do you have any threes? Go fish! So, nice of you to join us for once, Spidey. Oh, I'm sorry. I was out saving the world. Beating you guys at cards ought to be pretty easy. Your spider sense won't save you here. Look who's talking, Daredevil. You've been looking at my cards all night. I don't need to look at your cards, Punisher. Your bluffs are so obvious. Okay, okay. Let's keep this a nice, friendly, clean game. Ugh. Who keeps inviting this guy? Hey, will you guys keep it down? Hey, loosen up, kids! I'm on fire! Wait, hold on. Time out. All of you guys were working together, and you still couldn't take down Spider-Man? It's not my fault! Doc Ock's plan was horrible! Everyone knows you can't control the symbiote! Hey, wait! So, I'm a rhino, you're a scorpion, and he's an octopus. What's a Mysterio? So, Rhino, you got any threes? Uh, hey! Hey, I got a bingo! Ha ha! You guys think you're so smart, but I won! Ha! Who's your daddy, Doc Ock? Ha ha ha! Victory is mine! You're always laughing at me! But who's crying now, huh? Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Uh, wait a minute, I made a mistake. Now what's this all about? Ugh, I need a new agent. Full house, aces over kings. I win again. Shut up! No! You know any other games? All I know is this poker. Nah, but uh, maybe they know a few. Hey! You guys know how to play Go Fish? Mr. Osborne. Why? Surprise? Yes, I suppose you would be. But the best surprise is still to come. <laughs> Tell Harry, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, too. Mary Jane, there's something I have to tell you. I... I know, Tiger. You don't have to say. Yeah, that's my life. Complicated. Looks like you're done now. Go outside and play. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, MJ. I wanted to. I even tried a couple of times, but... I think a part of me always knew. Now you see why I can't be with you. It wouldn't be fair to you. I was selfish to ask you. You should marry John. Peter. Come on in. It's open. Expecting someone? MJ? You're supposed to be getting married. You... I made a decision. This involves both of us, Peter. And you need to trust me to make my own choice. I know who you are. I know the life I'm choosing. And I want to be with you. That's the way it is. Deal.
Go get him, Tiger. Mary Jane. The girl next door. The girl I love. And now the girl waiting for me at the end of the day. Fate handed me amazing powers. And with those powers came a burden of responsibility. Somehow, though, having her with me makes that burden lighter. Still, in the end, it's mine to bear. After all, there's still only one. Spider-Man. You want to talk about it? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know where to begin. You can just ramble. I'm okay. I love you. I know. It's just... What? Eddie. I mean... He's out there. And I don't know if I'm scared of him or for him. not here. No. I'm here. Thanks, Spider-Man. I'm sorry. I didn't want to fight you, I swear. It was just that Venom... Well, he said he'd kill her if I didn't help him. I had no choice. Well, she's safe now. That's all that matters. This should be a happy ending. I beat the villain, brought a family back together, and got the girl. But it's not that easy. Being Spider-Man always comes with a price. And today that price was a steep one. What keeps me going are Uncle Ben's words. With great power comes great responsibility. In the end, people need heroes. As tough as it gets some days, I have to fight on. Maybe the best way to honor the people I love is to never stop being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Good today, kid. I did what had to be done. And Uncle Sam appreciates it. As a little token of our thanks, you'll find all your school loans paid off. I... How did you know who I was to pay them? Please. I have a multi-billion dollar spy agency at my disposal. You think I can't follow a guy in red and blue pajamas through New York City? Oh, yeah. Go home. Take your girl out to dinner. Enjoy yourself. You earned it. Nick, so those shards we collected, they're dangerous and... They're in good hands. Teleport sequence initiated. Mysterio was onto something. I want the remaining meteors analyzed until we know what makes them tick and how we can use them. Right away, Colonel. What should I name the project file? Considering the mess these things have made, Carnage. Call it Project Carnage. Affirmative. Project Carnage initiated. Well, darling, I promised you this city. And it's yours. What do you desire? We await your command, sir. I always believed that with great power came great responsibility. And now? I never knew what power was. Tinkerer says he's ready. And our delivery boy... Here he comes. I 
Are you in full control? Yeah, I'm dandy. Bring me Spider-Man, dead or alive. I'm going with... dead. The walls of reality are rebuilding themselves. And now, you must all return to your own dimensions. See you later, older and less cool versions of me. Old? Hey, I'm from the future. To me, all you guys are ancient history. Good to know there is a future. And men like you carry on the good fight. What? Bye, guys. Next time you should hang around longer. We can start a bridge club or something. Come on, Misty. I can drop you off at Super Villain Daycare. Thank you, Spider-Man. You should be proud to know your legacy is being upheld across time and space. Yeah, those guys were all right. But you have to admit, with four different Spider-Men, the one thing I know for sure, out of all of them, I'm the best. And so ends one of the most titanic team-ups of all time. And what have we learned here today, Marvelites? that no matter what corner of the cosmos you may find yourself in, there'll always be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man to save the day. And to all of you web-spinning wonders, I proudly say, Excelsior! It's... it's all back to normal. Same here. Okay, but if the timeline snapped back to normal, if none of it happened, how do you and I remember it? I mean, we've got two different sets of memories in our brains. Shouldn't that be making us, I don't know, crazy? <laughs> crazy? We already dress in skin-tight costumes and fight bad guys for free. Okay, crazy-er. You really want a five-hour lecture on temporal paradoxes? Sure, why not? As it turns out, looks like I have all the time in the world. Come on, Whitney. Spider-Man saves the world. You can do it. Not gonna happen. Spider-Man, once believed to be the cause of the outbreak, is now being called a hero by city officials and the public. <laughs> yes. You owe me a dollar. I'll write you a check. We've learned that Spider-Man not only fought the robots and cross-species holding the city under siege, but also helped develop a cure for the outbreak. Hey, what about me, Whitney? What about you? I bet you wind up in a secret underground lair of some other mad scientist by the end of the day. And I'll have to save you. Oh, is that what I am? A damsel in distress? I don't know, but you're definitely distressing me. <laughs> Another cheesy line to go in your collection. Going to such dangerous lengths is to break the infamous Dr. Kirk Connors out of the Beloit Mental Facility in order to develop a cure. I know Connors helped you, but I'm still missing a father. I know. As officials monitor the situation and ensure that the infection is not spread, I'm sorry. I I'm being told that I'm being told that Dr. Smythe, who was arrested earlier today for his involvement in this crisis, has apparently escaped police custody. A guy in a wheelchair ran away from the police. I gotta do something. Tomorrow. Deal with it tomorrow. What's the matter, Peter? You look like you lost your last friend. Hey, but I know for a fact, you've still got at least one. It's Uncle Ben. I miss him so much. I just feel... lost without him. He raised me. I loved him. And he died because he was looking for me. I'm not sure how to live with that. Let me ask you something, Pilgrim. Your Uncle Ben, he was one of the best people I ever knew. Everyone loved him. He had an amazing life, right? So, why do you want to make it all about how it ended? What counts isn't how he died, Peter. What matters is really the way he lived. I, I want you to make his life mean something. I want you to be the man he raised you to be. The man that he was so proud of when he saw what you were growing into. He told you that? All the time. Your uncle knew what a tough place the world could be. He knew that it needs heroes. And hey, take it from me, you are one of those heroes. So what do you say? Are you gonna go out there and prove it? I want you to do it for Uncle Ben, and for me. Yeah. Yes, Dan. I will. I miss Uncle Ben. I'll always miss him. But I don't have to replace him, because he already gave me everything I needed. 
Now it's up to me to honor his memory by using what he gave me, in a way that'll make him proud. Nuff said. Nuff said. So? Hi. Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. I knew you could do it. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Oh, no, but, uh... I'll be right with you, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was actually considering maybe a career change. Hmm? Yeah, I think I might want to become a chef. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. Yeah, the last project I worked on, I created a monster octopus that almost destroyed the city, so... Yeah. <sighs> I mean... You do make a hell of a chicken curry. <laughs> I do. Still working on my dumplings, though. Going camping? Oh, uh, my uh, new place isn't going to be ready for about a week, so I'm going to be crashing with Miles for the next few nights. Oh. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. No, I, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, yes, I mean... No, no, I don't, I not want to, but meaning I, I, I do want to, but only if you do. I never stopped wanting to. Me neither. Man, I still can't get over that suit. So cool. Gotta be me. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Pete, does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. Roxxon did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me, Rick, Finn, all of Harlem. I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider-Man Oath. Go time? Go time. Taking the subway down to the bugle. Guess I'll just have to fight my way through it.